Hello everyone, Giovanni here and welcome back to my channel. We are on to episode 5 of our FIFA 22 and Sufati Mind Player Career Mode. And we just racked up the Champions League group stages. We lost to Bayern Munich in the last episode, but then we went ahead and beat Benfica to book our places into the knockout stages of the Champions League. As you can see, Barcelona, however, line 4th in La Liga, 16 games played, 29 points taken, 11 points with Getafe, 1 beat Atletico Madrid, and 10 points below Real Madrid, who are running away with the title so far. But it hasn't been too bad for Ansu Fati. 22 games played, 11 assists, and 10 goals. Hopefully, we can um, after that goal tally and also close that gap on Real Madrid, who have been excellent so far. But if you're just now checking out the channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. Smash the like button. Yeah, that's right. Smash it. Go grab a hammer. Smash it. All right, have you done it yet? All right, thanks. That's going to get this episode rolling. All right, so looking at the calendar here, we do have Osasuna, then it's Elche, then it's the long break. And then we take on Mallorca, Granada. You know what? I'm going to see most of these games, actually. We're going to bring the game straight through the Super Cup against Real Madrid. And then we're going to see some of these games as well. Because, I don't know, it doesn't seem that much interesting. If you want me to play these games, let me know down in the comment section below. I could play the rest of it. But I think I'm just going to see most of these games. I mean, Mallorca, Granada, Elche, Alves. I'm not playing against this team. I'm not playing. I'm going to do a quick sim and then we'll come back and go over the results of what happened here. All right, so we have done all the Sims, and guess what happened during the Sims? We won 3 1 against Granada, 3 1 against Rio, 1 ahead, 1 2 1 against Elche, and 3 2 against Osasuna. <laughs> Barcelona with the Sim has won basically all their games. I don't know how that happens. I think we should just see what's about games now. It looks like Simming seems to work because, I, I mean, obviously, Barcelona technically are still a larger club in FIFA. So, if you sim some of the games, they won't win. I mean, we sim the game and only score one goal. We had 11 goals. We only have 12 goals now. That's not good enough for the same. But we have Real Madrid coming up now in the semi-finals of the Super Copa. Let's take a look at the standings here. What teams are in this? Let's go Madrid and let's go Bilbao are going at it. one new for Let's go Madrid over... Um, I wonder if I'll build power over Madrid and we have to now take on Real Madrid into the semi-finals here of the La Liga Copa Super Copa as you say um, team of the year has been announced. Let's look at this quickly here um, Goalkeeper is all black defenders are Cancelo Diaz Laporte and Kyle Walker So that's basically Manchester City back line uh, Midfield have De Bruyne, Kimmich, Lorente and Silva, Lewandowski and Luis Suarez are your forwards I mean, that's not bad. Look at this. Extend our wins to 16. 16. That's actually not bad. But that's all the games we seem. Then we won the games we seem. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go and get this one going as well against Real Madrid. It's going to be a tougher game. El Clasico in the Super Copa. And that's the, the, that's the Benzema team. That's the Real Madrid team. They're playing a 4-3-3. Benzema up there. Asensio Hazard. Camavinga starts. Madrid, Casemiro, Militao, and Fernandez. Cavahan, Mendy. That's a strong lineup. Let's go ahead and get this game going. Hopefully now we're in a good head of space to win this game. So it is El Clasico in the Super Copa. I mean, what else can you ask for? I'd rather have the semifinals than the final against Real Madrid. Because, you know, the final, anything can happen. Semifinals, you know, we lose it, then we move on. If you lose in the final, uh, it's going to stink more. It's going to stink more. Let's go ahead and get, let's take a look at our match objectives here and see what we have coming up in this match for Ansu Fati. Get a 7.5 match rating. Avoid losing the match and take three shots on target. Three shots on target. Okay, hopefully I can remember that. Let's go ahead and get this game going. It's a big game. El Grand Clasico live from Camp Noon. And the first half is underway. Usmani Dembele. Go play. There is a lovely true pass out to Usman Dembele. And he finds Fati. He does find Fati. Skips past Camavinga. Go play here from Barcelona. Oh, off the bar. Oh, that could have been the first goal here for Barcelona. Oh, get in there, boys. Now, 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 now. There we go. Let's go, Fatty. Fatty with it. Cuts it back. Depay. Another brilliant save from Thibaut Courtois. But that's a shocking miss there from Memphis Depay. Barcelona should be ahead in this game. They've done everything right. And somehow Memphis Depay cannot finish, man. I don't get this guy. So corner kick cross comes in. 
Headed away there by Karim Benzema. Back to Fati. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, Depay, man. Oh, come on. Now it's Benzema. Got it back to Modred. If they score this, I'm going to blame what's his face. Depay. Modred! Brilliant save there from Mark andre Testeg and still nil nil in this game. Oh, that could have been a goal for them as well, and they missed it. I don't know what's, I don't know which miss was worse, though. I think Memphis Depay miss was probably still the worst. Come on, can we get there? Oh, let's go up there. We'll play. There we go. Barcelona, the attack here. Jordi Alba finds De Jong. Depay. Dembele. Fati. Oh, just wide. Just wide. Too much power than that. Oh, just wide. The two coaches. You can tell the difference between the two coaches. One is a little bit disappointed. One is giving instructions on the touchline. Out wide to Marco Asensio. How much time are they adding? One added minute to this first half. Now it's with Militao. Finds Casimiro into the feet of Benzema. And there goes the first half whistle. Nil-nil going into the break here from both teams. Who, I mean, technically it could have been 1-1. One, one. It could have been 2-2 two, two in fact. Um, but it's nil-nil. Goalkeepers have been on their A game today. You shall not pass. They are looking unbeatable. I'm sure someone's going to have to find a win here. No shots for Ansu Fati. And um, no skill ratings. What is going on, man? That's a very poor performance from Ansu Fati. We've got to get that up there, boys. Got to get that up there. That's going to get a second half going. And hopefully we can turn... This loss, I mean, this draw into a win here. The second half in the El Clasico Supercopa is underway. Now, so Luka Modric finds Marco Asensio into the video. Karim Benzema sends Asensio out wide. Can he keep that in? He does. Oh, lovely skills there from Asensio. Luka Modric. Still Modric cuts it back. Oh, brilliant defending. There's out for a corner kick here for Benzema. I mean, for Benzema. Why well, keep calling Real Madrid Benzema? Corner kick for Real Madrid. Marco Asensio makes it for Gareth Bale. No Vinicius in this game so far. Interesting choice there by Carlo Ancelotti. Easy pickings there from Marc Andre Testeg. There it is, boys. The true pass is in. Sergio Roberto. Ansu Fati. Good play from Barcelona. Sergio Busquets. Cut it back. Jordi Alba. Oh. Oh, good save there from Thibaut Courtois. Gareth Bill. Good tackling there from Jordi Alba. Come on, Memphis Depay. There's the true pass. Lovely true pass from Fati. Memphis Depay. Get in there. An assist for Ansu Fati and Depay has made it 1-0 here for Real, for Barcelona against Real Madrid. Silence your critics. I've been one of your biggest critics, but he has proved me running this game so far. Lovely true pass from Fati, and he does the rest this time. Usually when we play him a true pass, he always plays it back, but this time he said, you know what, I'm going to take it on. It's two against one. I'm going to take you guys on. Slits right between the two of the defenders right there. And he lost that pass, Thibaut Courtois in goal. He could not do anything to save that lovely strike from Memphis Depay. And it's now 1-0 to Barcelona. Now it's Kamavinga. Lovely true pass into Karim Benzema. What can Benzema do with it? He's running down the corner sack here. Find Hazard. You know what? That's their mistake. They should have started Vinicius. I don't rate Hazard. You know, I don't rate him. Goes out wide to Gareth Bale. Easy pickings there for Marc-Andre Testegen. Now it's Madrid. Lovely true pass to Gareth Bale. One last attack here for Real Madrid. Look at Lingley. Oh, too much on that. And there goes the full-time whistle. It ends 1-0 here for Barcelona over Real Madrid. Get in there, boys. What a match. <sighs> that was tough. That was a tough match. We finally get one win over Real Madrid this season. They've been relentless in the league. But in the, in the, in the cup match here, we did it. It's a cup match and you need a win. If they start Vinicius, then they're going to regret this. They're going to regret this. We only had one shot on target. But we got the assist. Our team needed to get a goal. And I'll take that. I'll take that performance. Good job there from Barcelona. Finally, we're showing some characters and some backbone here. Going into the latter stages of the league of the season now. Second half of the season, I should say. But that's a big win. Big, big win here for Barcelona. Ugh. Never thought I would see the day. I never thought I'd see the day. What would be Real Madrid? The final is coming up already. Well, that doesn't take long, does it? That doesn't take long. We have the final coming up now of the Super Copa to take on Atletico Bilbao. Spurs signs Danilo. Wow, I didn't know it was just back to back like that. It's quite interesting. Come on, are we at 84? Yes, sir. We made it to an 84. Get in there, boys. Keep it going. Let's get to 85 now. 86. Uh, I mean, 11 assists as well here for Ansu Fati. But we have the final of the Copa Italia. I mean, Copa Italia, the Super Copa. We could win our first trophy this season. And that's the Atletico Bilbao team playing a 4-4-2. 
Williamson Garcia up there, Ves Vesga, Garcia, Nunes, Yarai, Berchiche, Simon. I mean, they're a good team. It's, it, it could actually be a much harder game than the than the Real Madrid game. But we'll see how we do here. The finals at the Santiago Bernabeu. <laughs> we are live from the Santiago Benabe. I mean, if you if you if you're a Real Madrid, right? You're questioning why didn't you play here in the first place? You know what I'm saying? You lost to Barcelona at the Camp Nou. Now they're coming to your stadium to play the final of the Super Copa here. Uh, <laughs> the Spanish Super Cup is underway in the finals against Bilbao and Barcelona. I got an 8.5 match rating. Avoid losing the match and take three shots on target. That's the first time. I've seen us with an 8.5 match win. Is that because we're almost at an 85 overall? I don't think so. But we'll see. We'll see. It should be a good game. I'm, at least I'm hoping for a good game here in the final of the Super Copa. And the first half is underway. We're tackling there from Jody Alba. See, now my question here is, did the Super Cup take over the Copa del Rey? Because shouldn't it be the Copa del Rey? Or am I mistaken here? Party! Brilliant save there from Simone. And it's off for a corner kick to Barcelona. Cross comes in here from Frankie Boy. Headed away, but not clear, actually. Oh, look at that control. For strength. For strength. Another brilliant save there from Simon. Oh, it's off for a corner kick again. Come on, boys. Come on, cross. That's a terrible cross. Now it's with Garcia. Lovely true pass to Williams. Goes for a goal. Easy save there for Marc-Andre Testegen. Still with Garcia. Got it back. Williams. Good play here from Atletico Bilbao. Now it's with Vesca. He's got to be offside. And he is offside. So goal for Atletico Bilbao. But he's offside. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Okay. Come on, Busquets. Be pie. Busquets. BK. Frankie. Party. Oh. Oh, how did he save that? I was looking for the pass. That I probably should have. I should be passing these balls, man. Anyways, a corner kick to Barcelona. Cross comes in. Easy pick in there for Simon. How much time? No time added on to this first half. It's nil-nil at the break. And both teams are going in all leveled here with 45 minutes left to play in the final of the Copa. Super Copa. The Spanish Copa. The Copa del Rey. <laughs> 8.4 rating so far for Ansu Fati. Well, we have our three shots on target. That's actually not bad. We have been shooting this game. We should be up in this game, but we're not. It's no no. We have four shots so far from their two. Should be up. It's still no no. 45 minutes left to play. Can we win this game? Can we win our first trophy on a Jave? The second half is underway in the final. Now it's with Ansu Fati. There we go, Jordi Alba. I'm starting to like Jordi Alba a lot. Jordi Alba, the way he goes up and down that left hand side. Oh, there it is. Lays it off. Busquets. That's a poor kick there from Busquets, but it took a deflection and it's out for a corner kick. Let's take a look at this one more time. I'm not skipping it. I'm not skipping it. It is a corner kick. It took a deflection there, but Busquets should be finishing that. It's a corner kick. Frankie Dion to take it. Cross comes in. We have oh, we have height in there, man. Busquets is in there. Link is in there. Gerard PK is in there, but no one can put that ball in the back of the net. A wide to Berenger. Into the feet of Garcia. Good play here from Atletico Bill Barinas with Vencedor. Back to Williams. Oh, good play here from Marc-Andre Testa again. Corner kick here to Barcelona. Can they win it last minute on cross? Comes in. Cleared. Good win. Fatih with it. Good fake from Fatih. Finds Luke De Jong. Luke De Jong still has it. Pedri. Good play. Oh, get in there. Sergio Busquets has won it here for Barcelona. Let's go, Busquets. Busquets with the biscuits. Biscuits, Sergio Biscuit has done it. Sergio Biscuits, he's won it here for Barcelona. Get in there. I don't know how, but somehow he squeezes past the goalkeeper. Go hold a play from Luke De Jong. Back to Ricky Puig. Into the feet of Dembele. I mean, it's actually Ansu Fati with a true pass into Sergio Busquets. And he just hits it one time. He just hits it first time across his. What is the goalkeeper doing? I will take it. You know the script? The script literally meant that goal go in. <laughs> the ball is past him before he can even move. 
is into the back of the net from Sergio Busquets and Barcelona, as terrible as they've been, could be clinching their first title of the season. So there are two minutes to this game. I actually like the clock for the Supercopa better than the clock for the La Liga. It's so difficult to see when they add time on. Let's, let's go back in our shape, please. Let's go back in our shape. Be defensive. Now it's Berenger. Out wide to Garcia. One last draw of the dice here for Bilbao. It's Williams. Can he get past Roberto? He somehow skips past Roberto, you know. Oh, no. Vencedor. Munien. Still with Munien. Let's go back. He's going to pass it here. Claret. Claret. There we go. They made a mess of it. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Yes. There goes the full-time whistle. And how terrible as this season has been so far. Barcelona have won the Super Copa. The Spanish Copa Italia. The Spanish Super Cup. The Copa del Rey. <laughs> Get in there, uh, but whatever name they want to call it, Barcelona has won the Spanish Super Cup. I will take this. Get in there, boys. Brilliant stuff from Barcelona. Where's the trophy presentation? Where is the trophy presentation? We're not seeing nothing. They will not win it. Oh, there we go. There is the trophy presentation. Sergio Busquets, who scored the winning goal, is about to lift the trophy here for the Spanish Super Cup for Barcelona. Get in there, son. Mark andre test tech and kept, kept us in it. We kept driving. We kept putting the pressure on. Kept probing. We finally unlocked that deadlock. Sergio Busquets scores it. Exactly what we need. The confidence now to go into the rest of the season, hopefully, you know, to try and close that gap on Real Madrid, who are like 10 points clear. Get in there, boys. We'll take it. We'll take this one. This is probably the only trophy we'll win this season. I don't think we'll win the Champions League. We're not winning the La Liga. That's already done and dust. I think Real Madrid will absolutely just fly away. So it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Better have a trophy than no trophy. Get in there, boys. I don't know how we won one new against Atletico Bilbao, but I'll take it. I'll take it. There's the team photo to confirm it there. Busquets, who's been involved in every single one of that celebration. He will enjoy that. He will enjoy that. Um, That's it. That's enough. Enough celebration. It's just a Super Copa. You know, it's just a Spanish Super Cup. It's nothing much. But it's a trophy at the end of the season. We will count that as a trophy. Get in there, boys. We got all of our match objectives done as well. So that's brilliant. Um, but Barcelona, actually, with those same games that we did, I'm now lying what, just three points behind Real Madrid. We simmed the games and we're three points behind Real Madrid. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Um, but I'm going to sim the rest of these games again. I'm not. I'm just not playing against against Rayo. We'll do another quick sim here. All right, a couple of wins after the sim. That's exactly what we like to see. We only seem to win games when we sim it. So we should probably just sim the rest of the season, shouldn't we? Um, we have Real Betis coming up in the Copa de Espana. Uh, run of 32, actually. So this is the Copa de Real then. Oh, okay, so I think that makes sense. So this is the Copa de Real. That was a Spanish Super Cup, which is a bit different. I get about so we did win the Spanish Super Cup, then we have a chance now to win another trophy here, but we have to get past Real Betis, it looks like. So we'll definitely bring this game, looking forward to us, that one. Uh, let's see what this Real Betis side is all about. And that gave us 13 goals and 13 assists. Get in there, son. And so far, they're doing bits here. And that's the Real Betis team. They're playing William Jose, 4-2-3-1. Fakir, Juan Cruz, Robert, Cavalier is in there, Sabali, Barta, Hermoso. That's a good team, Miranda. They're actually not a team to mess about with this Real Betis side here, but look, the Copa de, Esta de Espana. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I think we'll stick with the same kits here. We'll stick with the same kits. Hopefully, it's not a clash in the real game. And let's go ahead and get this one going here for the round of 32 in the cup match. The camera is affixed to one man. Is he leaving the club? Well, he starts this game, and we're live on EA TV. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not a story you see every day. <laughs> Jody Alba is linked to Real Madrid. Come on, man. But live from the Estadio Benito as Real Betis host Barcelona here in the Copa de España round of 32. What team will progress into the next stages of this competition? Let's take a look at our match objectives. Get a match with at least 8.5. Score at least one goal from outside of the box and get at least one assist or goal. Isn't that kind of redundant? Oh, I mean, I guess you got to score from outside the box, but then that, that also gets the other one done. Anyway, anyway, it's 8.5 rating. I think that's probably going up because we are, what, 84, 85 overall. So I think the, the match rating goes up according to how much rated your player are. So that's not too bad. Anyway, the first half of the cup match is underway here. 
We're tackling there from Ansu Fati. Yeah, I think I should have changed the kit. It looks a little bit too familiar. It's not nothing too crazy. Fati, brilliant save there. Oh, that could have been the fresco. It's not too bad, but it's definitely a kit clash. I mean, almost a kit clash here. But anyway, hopefully we can contain this one game. As the corner kick cross comes in. What are you doing there, Sergio Roberto? Lovely true pass there from Rubber. It's with the one Cruz. Still with the round Cruz. Off the bar. Oh, still with Rubber. Good interception there. Come on, Barcelona. Let's wake up here with that terrible defense. Lovely true pass to William Jose. Good save there from Mike Andre Testegen to keep Barcelona in this game. It's a corner kick to Real Betis. That's a look to get one goal in this game. Cross comes in. It's a decent cross. Headed away by Mingueza. Second boss, guys. There we go. Good job. Now the counter attack is on. It's three against three. Look at Memphis Depay. There is the true pass to Depay. It's two against one. Just Depay on his own. Cuts it back. Fati. Oh, good defending there. Oh, it's out for a corner kick. Come on, boys. Let's get a goal right before halftime. Can we? Can we? Cross comes in here. Oh, a what was that? Anyway, we'll take a second bite at it. Come on, let's get this goal from outside the box. Fati. No power on that at all. Tries to switch it down to rubber. But we have Jordi Alba there doing a very good defensive work. And there goes the first half whistle. It is no no at the break. Both teams not really creating that clear cut chance. A couple of half chances here and there. But I think no no is a fair scoreline going into the break here. Barcelona needs to up the tempo here in the second half if they're going to look to qualify into the next stages of this competition. So far, it's been a very um, okay performance from Fati. 7.4 halftime rating. But we still have 45 minutes left to turn this around. Scores around the competitions. Atletico Madrid are winning. They're still in the competition. Real Madrid are yet to play. They're playing Las Palmas. Why couldn't we play a, a lesser team? You know what I'm saying? Like, Real Betis is a quite hard game. Especially for the round of 32. But let's go and get this game going. The second half is underway here. Who will progress to the round of 16? Good interception there from Frankie De Jong. Nice with Sergio Busquets. Mingueza. Now it's with Fati. Out wide to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is so good. No, I'm not, I'm not sure why he's... Got it back, get in there! Jody Alba with the assist to Sergio Busquets and Barcelona taking a 1 0 lead in this game from Sergio Busquets, the captain. What a defensive midfielder, my number five. Good run here from Jody Alba, bursting down that left hand side. No one can keep up with him. Look at that cross. Look at that cross. That's the Amazon Prime delivery. Right on target. All he has to do is just open the package and it's a go. He just, look at it, he just stretches his long legs. <laughs> Brilliant finish there from Sergio Busquets. That's almost a striker-like finish, and it's now 1-0 to Barcelona. Keep it, keep it. Memphis Depay, there's the true pass. You're in, boy. You're in, son. Oh, Depay gets in there. It doesn't count as an assist, but look, they've made a mess about it in the back there. A good fighting from Ansu Fati and Memphis Depay. He loses it, then he gets it back. Then Fati steps in it. And Depay says, you know what? I'm just going to finish this. There's too much calamities going on in the back here. I'm going to step up and I'm going to hit this as hard as I can into the back of the net. I mean, that should have been an assist for Ansu Fati because we got the defensive work going on there. But changes being made. Memphis Depay is making way. Barcelona 2 near up here in the Copa de Espana. Play the kit. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Now we need all needs our goal. It's another goal! Get in there! The youngster who just came in. Who was that? Is that Braithwaite? That's, that's not even a youngster. That's Matthew Braithwaite. The legend. The Lord. Lord Braithwaite. Good play here from down the wings. Cuts it to Fatty. He just lays it back to him across. And that's an excellent finish there from the Lord himself. And it's now 3-0 to Barcelona. Oh, you can see what he was trying to do. The run was there from Fatty, but the pass wasn't executed. To perfection. They're only one at a minute to this first half. And there goes the full-time whistle. Get in there, boys. 3-0 victory for Barcelona over Real Betis. All came in the second half. This is what I'm talking about. In the second half, you got to turn up the intensity. Take it up a notch and they couldn't cope with it. Once that first goal gone in, Real Betis had to push men forward. And then they just got picked apart on the counter from Barcelona. A goal from Matthew Braithwaite, who came in. Lord Braithwaite assisted as well. An assist for, for Ansu Fati and two shots on target. No goals today. Um, he, mu he, mu he must be disappointed, Fatty. He must be disappointed. We did get a yellow card, though. We were pretty naughty. We had to take out a guy. It's going to be frustrating there. 
But comfortable win for Barcelona. 3-0 victory. And we move on to the next stages of the Copa de España. I'm ready for it. 3-0 for Atletico Madrid as well. 2-1 for Sevilla. All the big boys are winning. And Fati grabs the man of the match with only one assist. Quite interesting. Whoa, the round of 16 already? Against Sporting? What, what's, do we just keep playing as we keep winning? Is that what happens? But we have Atletico Madrid coming up in the league. So then what happens then? I guess if we win, it's probably going to postpone that game then. Um, do I sim it? Because if I sim it... If I sim it and we lose, that's going to be quite disappointing. We'll do a quick sim. Why not? We shouldn't be simming this. I see Ocampos. I mean, not Ocampos, but Campos. Who the hell is Campos? Who the hell is Campos? Sergio Aguero, I'm guessing. And then Memphis Depay. Getting their sons 3 2 0 no victory for Barcelona. We're into the quarterfinals now, I believe, of the Copa de España. 3 2 for Atletico Madrid, 3 2 for Sociedad, 1 0 for Zaragoza over Levante. That's a bit of a shocker. Real Madrid won, bastards. Alright, I'm gonna skip this transfer deadline day crap. All right, there we go. So the game with, but with Atletico Madrid got postponed. Play of the month shortlist. Fat is not even in there. But Depay and Frankie De Young are in there. So so I guess we keep as we keep winning, we just keep playing. Is, is that how it works? Because there's the quarterfinals against Osasuna. So we could play this game. I'm just not sure exactly how this. I guess I'm guessing that's how it works for the Copa del Rey. I hope it's the Copa del Rey. Copa, Copa de España might be the same thing. What if we sim this game and go to the semifinals? Also sooner. I'm I'm simming this as well. I'm sorry, boys. There we go. A 4-2 win for Barcelona. Go for Frankie De Young, Memphis Depay, Usman Dembele, and Ansu Fati with the opener. Get in there, son. All right, let's see here. And Atletico Madrid lost to Sevilla. Oh, get in there, Sevilla. The business of Atletico de Madrid. Real Madrid won comfortably 4-0. Uh, well, we already know who's going to be in the final. There we go. Now we have Atletico Madrid coming up. And then it's Sevilla in the Cup match. So that's a good game. That's a game that we have to play. They just beat Atletico Madrid in the Cup match. So we'll bring Sevilla in the next episode. Then it's Chelsea. Then it's Valencia. Then it's Atletico Bilbao. So good games for the next episode. Or we'll bring the game against Atletico de Madrid. And then call it an episode here. They have... So Real Madrid are tapping to 50 points. We simmed a lot of games and we seem to win the games we sim. So Barcelona is up there in second with 47 points. And let's go Madrid is fourth for 41 points. They're struggling a little bit. So hopefully we can add to their frustrations here. They're playing a 3-4-2-1. Suarez, Jao Felix, Griezmann, Trippier, Lemur, Neves, and Lorente, Savage, Felipe, Hermosa, and O'Black and Go. Um, what are we playing here? Who is Wagu? Playing defensive midfielder with Busquets. I don't understand who that is. Let's go and get this game going here at the Camp Noon against Atletico Madrid. But one of the biggest games of the calendar in La Liga when Barcelona takes on Atletico Madrid is underway here live at the Camp Noon. I know it says El Libertar or whatever the stadium it says, but we're going to call it the Camp Noon because it should be the Camp Noon. And anyway, let's take a look at our match objectives here for Ansu Fati. Got a match winning for at least 8.5, complete 10 passes in the opponent's half and avoid losing the match. 10 passes. I'll take a draw on us. If you tell me right now, take a 2 2 draw or 1 1 draw, I'll say, fine. But let's go ahead and get this game going. We could actually win this game. Anything is possible in the first half is underway. Now, is, is that Ruby Neves? So they went ahead and bought Ruby Neves as well. Uh. Oh, brilliant save there from uh, Ter Stegen on the block. Oh, no. Barcelona, they're cautious with Neves. Now, it's Jao Felix, another brilliant save. Get it out. Oh, 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 oh. Atletico Madrid, how on earth did they score? Kevin Trippi, a lovely true pass to Griezmann is still on, and this time they finally score. 
And it comes from anti grisma They have been piling on that pressure, knocking on the door. And finally, they have broken it down. It's a goal for Atletico Madrid. Good passing and movement out wide. Into, look at that true pass. One time, no one is on Griezmann. And this time, he makes no mistakes. And it's now 1-0 lead here for Atletico Madrid. Thank you, De Jong. Busquets. We'll play here from Barcelona. Fati. There we go. Come on, Dembele. Usman Dembele. He's got options. Finds Fati. Lays it off. Sergio Busquets get in there. Busquets again on the score sheet. <laughs> From the defensive midfielder to the goal getting midfielder this season, Sergio Busquets. He's bombing up that line. He wants goals. Fatty sees him, lays it off to him. One time hit. Again, he scores Busquets. He doesn't miss when he shoots, does he? Another goal for the goal getting midfielder here, who should be playing defensive midfield, but he's playing box to box in this game. And that's a lovely strike. I mean, maybe all black should do better, but it's 1 1 in this game. Barcelona right back into it. Out wide, how much time I'd add into this first half? Just a minute. Out wide now to Lemar. Can he get there? He does. Good control from Lemar. Good block there from Roberto. Busquets giving away cheaply. And there goes the first half whistle here. It is 1 1 going into the break for both teams. And it's been an even a match game. And let's go, Madrid dominated when it was 0 0. They, they got that first goal they wanted. And then Barcelona somehow crawled right back into this game. Nine passes in the opponent half. We are drawing by 7.7 rating so far. So. We could get the 10 passes in the second half and maybe, maybe even clinch this win. I'm getting very confident now. We've been so shit lately, but look, if we can get a draw a win here, I think that'll probably be a much a better outcome. And what's, what's happening now? Then Bele for Suso. They bought Suso as well. In January, Barcelona doing some shopping. All right, let's see how Suso does here. The second half is underway. Ruby Neves. Out wide to Jao Felix, could play here from Atletico de Madrid. Now it's Anton Griezmann, lovely true pass to Suarez. Good shot and good save there from Mark andre Testegan to put it out wide for a corner kick to Atletico Madrid. Changes being made here from both sides. Memphis Depay makes way for Matthew Martin Braithwaite. And Yannick Carrasco comes in. He's got pace. Come on, Lord Braithwaite, give us the goal we need. Cross comes in here. Headed away from Frank by Frankie de Jong. Torres finds Ruby Neves into the feet of Jao Felix. Finds Anton Griezmann. Good passing and movement from Atletico Madrid. Yannick Carrasco. Griezmann. Brilliant save there from Marc Andre Testa again. Oh, he's really keeping Barcelona in this game. Every episode is a saves and saves and saves from Marc Andre Testa again. And then Barcelona probably go ahead and win this game now. They'll probably go ahead and win this game. Good defending. So the second half has been all Atletico Madrid, actually. And that's going to be the goal. Brilliant save again from Andre Testa again. He cannot be beaten. You shall not pass. Sergio Busquets, that goal game midfielder, is making way this season. Who's he coming in for? Felipe Coutinho. Head it up. Good head it away. How much time am I adding to this game? There's the true pass. Lord Braveway. Oh, why didn't he shoot it? Why didn't he shoot it, Lord Braveway, man? Oh, that goes the full time whistle. It's going to be all squared here. I mean, I did say I wanted a draw, but come on. You're disappointed if you had a couple of chances to win that match. But honestly, we didn't even deserve a draw. Atletico Madrid has just been dominant. I don't know how this game is level. Well, I know how. Mark andre Ter Stegen is how. He saves everything. You shall not pass. Big hands. Grab everything. Save everything. And you cannot score against. But we had one assist, one shot on target. We couldn't really do much in that game. Especially, we're running pretty low on stamina again. I don't know why. He's, he's struggling with stamina. We couldn't even get an 8.0 rating. That's so terrible, man. But I'll take a 1-1 one -one draw. 2-1 for Zephyr but also sooner. We should be playing Sevilla now in the Copa de España's um, Cup match. Is it the semifinals? Semifinals. So two legs, I think, um, for the semifinals. So we'll definitely bring that in the next episode. We're going to stop it here for now. The next episode coming up, we have two legs of Sevilla. Well, and then Chelsea. And then we have Espanol, Valencia, Atletico, Bilbao. Some big games coming up as well. Yeah, there you go. Sevilla, Chelsea again. So some big, and Real Madrid. Some big games coming up in a couple of episodes. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to stop it here for now. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.